Hello guys, today I want to remind you that I have a GitHub repository with Laravel tips and some of you ask in the comments, so where do I get those tips and is there any ebook or repository or anything? There is, Laravel daily Laravel tips and I've updated it yesterday, added 11 more tips and now it's total 125 random tips about Laravel. There are 14 sections like this with navigation. It's all in one readme file, but you can scroll down and let's do it together. And I will just randomly show you like 10 tips or so, which are more interesting in my opinion, or less known or more useful. Let's start with one eloquent tip. So how to set a field value automatically on creating a record. And there are two tips related to that. So for example, if you want to set logged in user or something else, you can do that with observer. So you can create a method called creating and similar tip to that is automatic column value when creating records. You can also do something like that in the model, in the model boot section, boot method. You can also define the creating logic. It could be logged in user or max plus ID like this case, whatever you want. And there are two ways to achieve that. The next tip is about eloquent relationship. And it's actually two tips again that you may define the relationship not only directly to the model, but also with some conditions. So for example, you can define a separate relationship ordered by something or separate relationship with some condition like where approved one. So you can have a comments relationship and approved comments as a separate relationship. Third random tip I want to emphasize is that you can load the relationship with exactly the columns you need. For example, if that author model contains like 50 columns or 20 columns, you don't have to load all of them. So to save some memory, you can load only the ones that you need and it will load a bit faster. Next tip is with count method of eloquent, you can load the relationship, but not the relationship itself, but with count. So for example, in this case, you load the user with amount of their post and their comments. And then you can reach that by the same relationship name underscore count. And not only that, there is load count. So even if you didn't load the with count during the first call of the model, you can load it later like this. Next tip I want to mention, the one I found out really recently, like a few weeks ago. If you want to find out which migrations haven't run yet, for example, on production server, you don't need to check the migrations database table. There is a special artisan command, migrate status, and it will show all the migrations which haven't been run and also which batches are for each migration. Another tip is about blade for each loop variable. So if you want to check whether the iteration is first, last, and there are more variables, I have a separate video on this one. But also, did you know that you can use the loop in two way, in two level sections? So loop, loop, let's find it here. Here's the tip. So two level loop variable. You can also have loop for the first and for the second for each and you can reach the first for each by doing loop parent. Next, I want to mention the routing tip about group within a group. It's a really useful thing for separating the full project between like admin and simple user and stuff like that. So you can create route group and then within that group, you can create subgroup and then sub subgroup with different parameters, different prefixes, different middleware and stuff like that. Another tip I think that should be commonly used but less known is that you can specify not only the rules in form request, but also messages. So validation message shouldn't be like username is required, but you can customize that per field and then field dot rule. Another small tip is that you should use collection methods if you have like one eloquent query and then from that query result, you need to sum something, calculate some average and stuff like that. You can perform the initial query and then use collection methods like max, average, or whatever else in the collection on the same initial result of eloquent query. And finally, I want to end this video with a really small tip. PHP artisan dash dash version will show you which version you have. And as I said, there are 125 tips in general here for free. And if you want to get more tips, I'm shooting almost daily videos on this channel. So subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos and see you guys in other videos.